guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you guys are new today's video is going to be another weekend long vlog i know you guys have been really enjoying these and i've been really enjoying filming these for you guys so today is actually thursday because i am starting off the weekend a little bit early by having one photo shoot today until then i will actually be going to work it's obviously a thursday i still work my nine to five hopefully i will get some footage for you guys and yeah i will talk to you guys when i get there I know that I really, you know, mostly specialize in natural looks, but for boudoirs and everything, I really, really love doing super glam kind of looks. I'm actually headed home right now. It's still Thursday, but I'm going home first because I got to eat and then uh, let out my dogs and everything. I usually go home during lunch. It's about 12 o'clock right now, so I probably should be back to work probably around 1. I will probably check in with you guys when I have to prep my kit for tomorrow's boudoir shoot because I do have a shoot tomorrow as well with a different photographer. Hey, I am home now and guess what? I got all my Amazon stuff. I got a free 30 day trial of Amazon Prime. That happens every once in a while and uh, you bet I'm gonna take advantage of that. Guess what? I got my camera and stuff. I'm pretty excited. All right, so I think these are the camera batteries. So it looks like it comes with the cord to be able to charge it. And this is the actual holder for the batteries. So they all just fit into like this little container. And then it came with three batteries here for the camera. Also, I just wanted to let you guys know why I actually decided to get an official vlogging camera. The camera that I currently am recording on takes beautiful footage if it's actually standing still, like if it's actually mounted somewhere and doing tutorials or something, or if I'm filming my business stuff and filming in one location, it's really great at being a still camera. But whenever I'm vlogging and moving around and everything, as you guys might have noticed the film is very very shaky and it has zero stabilization on it like there's absolutely none on this camera i feel so bad for you guys because i feel like somebody's gonna get like motion sick or something while i'm like walking around and doing my own stuff so i decided to get a vlogging camera in case you guys are wondering this is the one that i got so i got the sony zv1 it's actually supposed to be a very very highly raved about camera and i'm pretty darn excited for it i don't know if you knew this or not but the camera that i have now does not have any sort of viewfinder 
This one has a viewfinder. It also rotates and flips around and everything. My record button on this actual camera for some odd reason sits like right in the back. And then this one is exactly where it should be, which is right here. <laughs> and this one also zooms by itself too. I don't need separate lenses or anything. So yeah, I think this will honestly be very, very good for a vlogging camera. And I'll shoot some footage on it to test it out and stuff. As you guys can see, this is the vlogging situation that I have right now. I love it though because like it's just so compact. I also have this handle right here that you can actually record and shoot movies with. You can zoom in and out with it and you can also take a photo and everything too with it. This button on the front here actually shows me if I'm recording or not, which is really handy to have. So just in case, you know, like I don't notice that maybe my camera cut out or it timed out or something like that. And then if you look on the back here, this whole entire thing actually flips around and you can see it that way. Or you can also turn it this way and then push it back in and then it looks like a normal camera. I gotta edit the video footage from last weekend's wedding so I can post that because I know I didn't get a video up for you guys on Thursday. Also, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, do so. It's just at jm underscore artistry. I'll be linking it right below. But I did post an updated freelance makeup artist kit video on the IGTV. Go ahead and check that out. It's about nine minutes long or so. I didn't want to make it super lengthy like I usually do with like stuff on YouTube and everything because obviously Instagram runs like a little bit shorter of a time span. If you guys want to know what exactly I keep in here now and how I organized it and everything, then definitely go ahead and check out that video. I did provide like basically every single thing that I have inside of here as I was going through it. I did go ahead and list all the shades for foundations and concealers and everything that you guys have been asking me about. If you guys are curious about what containers or anything else that I have inside of my kit, I also can link that for you guys down below. Just let me know. But anyways, yeah, um, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. All right, guys, it is the next day. It's currently Friday. I have yet to get myself ready, obviously. I tried to pre-curl my hair last night, and for some odd reason, I thought that was a good idea, but then obviously you sleep in it. In my mind, it made sense, but it's not... It doesn't really make sense. My hair doesn't look super bad or anything. It looks better on camera. I actually have to film some Instagram reels today, which I have three different ideas of what I want to do. Well, actually technically two because when I finished yesterday, actually my husband helped me with it even though he like literally was super cringed whenever he did it because he was like, why do I have to be in here? Hopefully I'll have enough time to um, finish editing the video that I have. I need to post it. I was supposed to upload it on Thursday, but of course I uploaded my freelance kit video on my Instagram instead. It's another client wedding vlog, and I know you guys are probably really tired of vlogs by now, but it's kind of annoying because, like, I edit everything off my phone and don't have the storage space to really do anything else. <laughs> so I'm hoping to make, like, some informative videos, but I'm running out of space on my phone to, like, store things, unless I actually... Uh, upload them onto YouTube, which I guess I could upload them ahead of time and just unlist them. I probably will end up filming a video today. I don't know. Today's just basically going to be like all about social media. I only have one appointment and that is at noon and I have to go about 30 minutes away to a boudoir shoot that I'm doing with another photographer. I'm pretty excited to kind of just be doing like photo shoots recently. It's so fun sometimes to be able to do photo shoots because I feel like you just have more creative freedom. Clients hardly ever tell me what they actually want. A lot of the times people literally don't care and they're just like, yeah, do whatever. And I love working with the photographers whose clients are like very chill. I have one photographer that I work with that I swear her clients are like super high maintenance all the time. And I'm sorry if this photographer watches this, but her clients are pretty high maintenance. I do a lot of business headshots with her. Since she does business headshots, you obviously are doing more of like the film and television makeup where it's almost like the no makeup makeup or like the barely there makeup or something. It's like you can't see the makeup and obviously I know that's the point. Like I'm not an idiot. I really hope that I don't insult any like film and television makeup artists. I hope you guys get what I'm saying. And I mean, it's totally a personal preference with makeup artists and everything about what you guys enjoy and what you don't enjoy. So please don't take it to heart or anything. It's just my personal preference and that's why I like working bridal and special events because people get like a little bit more glammed up. You get like happier clients on weddings too. I mean, I feel like there's no other energy like a bride's energy. I always get this question from like almost every single bride that I do her bridal preview with, but I've never had a bridezilla ever. I've had momzillas before, 
but I haven't had bridezillas. All my brides have been super fantastic. I don't think I've had any one of them that have really given me like a super hard time or have been like mean or anything. I feel like whenever you reach out to somebody, you can always like feel their energy and their vibe and everything. I don't know why. I mean, I know that you, you know, can't have a lot portrayed, you know, through just email and everything. And I fully believe in whatever's meant to happen will happen and I'm not gonna force anything. So if I truly believe that that client and I like aren't a good fit, I'm not gonna fight for it as hard, you know what I mean? But if I really do feel like we'd be a really good fit and everything, I'm definitely gonna try to persuade them a little bit more. And as much as I don't like being a salesperson, that's kind of honestly sometimes what our job kind of depends on. You're basically selling yourself, if that makes sense. Like you're selling your skill level, you're selling your business to a bride every single time they reach out to you. And that's why you always wanna take the time to respond back to people. I understand that it would take a lot less time if you more so just kind of streamlined everything and just sent like an automated message or something or like an automated email to somebody. But I truly feel like I just want to personalize it as much for my clients as I possibly can so they realize that it's not just a robot responding to them. I just, you know, truly feel like brides should get an experience and we're only makeup artists, I get it. We're not photographers, we're not venues, you know. We're one of the smaller vendors. But I still feel like we should still create a positive atmosphere and everything. Makeup artists have evolved heavily from what they used to be. I feel like whenever brides try to pick out all their vendors and everything, some brides have a more old school approach to it. Like they'll just maybe, you know, go with um, their hairstylist at their salon or something and just have them do their makeup. Like you guys all went to the salon or something all together and then you guys all got ready and everything. But that's a very old school way of doing things and not like that's a bad thing, but the wedding industry has heavily evolved. There are obviously freelancers now that will come to you. Like you do not have to go to a salon. Usually if you get a mobile freelancer like I am and everything, they include a certain amount of mileage and then you just have to pay a mileage fee after that. So that's already a new thing too because I feel like back then there were no designated makeup artists. Like salons did makeup and that's what it was. Or you did your own makeup. Just let me know if any of you have kind of grown up and got married in the era where your hairstylist just did your makeup and everything and then also what you think about, you know, what people do now, if that makes sense. Like what do you guys think about freelancers that actually come to you, would that have been more convenient for you? Like, would you wish that, you know, that would have been a thing when you guys got married? I just want to chat in the comments section. I personally think it's a really, really convenient thing for brides because you obviously don't have to worry about going anywhere. You can just go to your venue and then you guys all get ready there. I also do think that wedding venues have heavily, heavily improved their setups and everything <laughs> because I feel like really old school venues like I can definitely tell when they're more old school because you're either setting up in like a conference room or a closet or a bathroom and you never want to set up in bathrooms as a makeup artist because it's really unhygienic and also bathrooms usually have really yellow light which is not good at all because you cannot foundation match in that so yeah I think that venues have really good setups for makeup artists and hairstylists nowadays because they've started developing bridal suites, which I think is awesome. The only thing is some bridal suites like still don't have windows and I don't think they realize that makeup artists are also going in there too because I feel like all they do is like, you know, put these like large mirrors with these LED lights and everything, which I totally understand would be a good logic for them because you can see obviously they think it's bright enough but unless they're like daytime LED lights or something, you can't get like a true color if that makes sense and I just wish that venues would like realize this that color is actually really important to us and lighting is really important. I feel like a lot of the time brides actually will pick a venue just specifically for their bridal suite which is kind of insane. I don't know there's just like different venues that have had really amazing bridal suites that I've been super impressed by so every single time I go to a venue and the bride's like oh my gosh they have an amazing bridal suite it just kind of makes my heart happy. Then of course I have to go look up the venue and everything to see what the bridal suite actually looks like because usually venues obviously have websites and they post their bridal suites and even the groom suites if they have them on their website so I kind of like to check out like what the setup's like and everything and if I need to bring a chair or if I need to bring my ring light or what I need to bring. Anyways now that you guys just saw me curl my hair for the last like 30 minutes or so I am going to start getting myself ready and I will talk to you guys later.
Okay guys, I just got done with the shoot as you guys can probably see. Oh my gosh, the client was so, so happy with her look and obviously she was super gorgeous to begin with so it's not like my job was that hard or anything. I'm gonna be heading back home here, gonna be cleaning up my kit and then honestly, I'm pretty much just gonna be working on social media sort of stuff and then I also need to prep for tomorrow's wedding because I do have a Indian wedding which is kind of interesting. So I'm not actually doing the bride. I think I'm doing her family members. So like the main person that hired me is one girl and then I'm doing her sister's makeup, her mom and her aunts. And I have to be there at like five o'clock in the morning. So which means I have to wake up at four. Luckily the house is only about like five minutes away from mine. So I don't have to travel that far or anything. If you guys don't know about any weddings, they never start on time and they never stop on time like when they're supposed to stop so um yeah i don't know how this whole entire day is gonna go i'm kind of nervous about it to be totally honest i haven't really stressed about an event in like a very long time um unless it's like you know something that's a larger bridal party or something like that but there's only four of them but it's really different because i have to go back at around three o'clock or so and do touch-ups on them and originally they wanted me to wipe everything off which is going to take about 10 minutes per person which is like 40 minutes like for everybody and then they wanted me to redo their whole entire makeup which i told them they would not have time because they're supposed to get done with the ceremony at like three o'clock and then they have to run back to their house which i don't know how long it takes for them to get wherever the ceremony space is and back to their house but i have to wait for that but i could be over there like really quickly and then they wanted me to redo their whole entire makeup and everything but i'm like listen you do not have time to go all the way home and then have enough time for me to do all of your makeup like redo it completely i told them instead at a lower cost i would just basically enhance whatever they already have so we're doing a more natural look on everybody and then i'm amping it up to be a little bit more bold so i'm just adding more eyeshadow um touching up all their face makeup and everything like blotting and you know repowdering and everything but not doing an entire full face of applications because I cannot do it in that time restraint. Like they would give me only like an hour and a half basically to do all four faces of makeup. Luckily the client is really, really understanding about it. And also I did ask her if I could film the applications for my YouTube channel, but I don't think she's going to be comfortable with it and everything. She's like, yeah, she's like, you can post stuff on Instagram and whatnot, but I don't know about being on your YouTube channel. So unfortunately I won't be able to film any of the applications or anything for you guys, but at least I'll catch you up with how the day went and everything. And I'll kind of still take you along for tomorrow. Hey guys, uh, sorry, I look really sleepy, but it's obviously Saturday and today is my Indian wedding. It's currently um, 4.08 in the morning, so that's why I'm looking a little rough right now. But as I said before, the client um, didn't want to be on camera or anything, so hopefully I'll, um, you know, just be able to talk to you guys later and everything if I'm still awake by then. <laughs> but then I'm going to be setting up for a bridal preview at my house at 11. I should be done with this wedding by 8, and then I have to go back for touch-ups and everything later. So yeah, um, I guess I'll just take you guys along with my day as much as I can film. I am just leaving and oh my goodness, that was like literally the most intense house that I think I've ever been into. I am actually kind of sad that I wasn't able to vlog for you guys. Also, I'm facing the sun now, so this might be kind of intense. Nobody was super picky or anything, which I'm super happy about. I had to do like one lip change, but that was like super minor. Everybody else looked absolutely beautiful and everything. So I think I'm going to go home and just kind of clean up all my stuff and everything. Obviously I have quite a bit to clean now. And then um, actually the um, original girl I was working with for this wedding, she actually said that her mom and her aunt probably won't want touch-ups. And so that'll leave a lot less stress on me, which will be awesome. So I think I'm just gonna be able to do her and her sister and just be done with it. I'm gonna be heading home here and getting ready for the bridal preview. Obviously it's not until like 11 o'clock or so and it's only 7 40 right now i actually got done like 20 minutes earlier than i was supposed to because everybody else had really simple looks there's only one girl who wanted lashes so that was really good so yeah i'll have more time to hopefully um, touch up two people instead of doing all four and won't be super stressed out about it so i honestly feel kind of excited about that the one thing i do like about waking up really early like this though is that there's absolutely zero traffic i mean it's 7 40 on a saturday and nobody else is out which is awesome <laughs> probably be showing you like cleaning up my kit and everything because it kind of looks like a hot mess. Okay guys, right this now. is the first time I'm trying out my vlogging camera and like look at the quality of this. Oh my gosh. And guess what? I can use my control here 
and I can zoom in and it looks really clear and then I can also zoom out and everything too. I love this little selfie stick handle that I have. Look at how smooth this is. <laughs> like all the stabilization is insane. And like, I mean, I can even kind of bounce up and down. Oh my gosh, this thing is amazing. I'm so freaking happy about this. Like, look at the quality of this. Ugh, I love it. And then um, you can also do like a background defocus thing. You can see that picture behind me. Defocused and off now. Yeah, oh my gosh, this thing is amazing. Yeah, I'm walking though and it's not bouncing, guys. No more bouncy vlogs. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and just be setting up for my bridal client that's coming over here. I'm doing a bridal preview. Oh, also look how freaking fast this thing auto focuses. Ready? Look, literally zero seconds. It's insane and you can go up super close and it just keeps focusing. I don't know, I'm so impressed with this camera, guys. That's pretty much my basic setup that I have. So I have my kit all laid out here. I have the things all from the top compartment that are now right here. So everything's a pretty quick and easy setup and it's nice because you can have the set bag, you just flip it up and then all of your stuff is out there, which is awesome. You can see everything. I like to make sure my disposables are out in front of me because you never know. The only thing I didn't do is create my mini trash can just because I do have a trash can underneath here. But when I'm working on set, usually I have a trash bag going on. Then I just have all my little um, cotton pads and sponges right there. Um, setting spray is always accessible right there. Um, then I have my fan to dry off people's faces. And I just have out my magnetic palette right here that has all my go-to shadows. And I just have out my palette and my spatula. And yeah, that's about it. But yeah, just make sure that you guys work in a really organized and clean way. And just try not to have too many things just like sitting all over your station because the more organized you are, the quicker you're gonna work. I think my client just got here. So yeah, the only thing I did is light a candle there. I lit one in the entryway as well, just to kind of get an ambiance. Then I set up my chair there, um, and then I'm going to be playing music on my phone right there. So yeah, that's about it. I just got done with the bridal preview and it went absolutely amazing. I'm so freaking excited with it. I'll show you guys what the look was that I did. She let me go a little bit more glam, which I'm totally not used to with brides, but like, look at how good that turned out. Yeah. Like, it looks so good. It looks so good, guys. Anyways, she was such a sweet person and everything, and I really, really enjoy meeting my brides and everything. It's awesome. So right now, I literally just have, like, this entire mess to clean up. <laughs> So I'm going to be doing that now. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the vlog, even though I didn't have much like actual application footage. I don't have anything to do tomorrow. So you guys probably will be seeing the vlog cut out after today. But since I started on Thursday, I feel like it kind of makes up for it. <laughs> so yeah, anyways, if you guys are enjoying the vlog, you guys stayed this far, definitely go ahead and give me a big thumbs up as well. So also hitting that subscribe button down below. I do upload a ton of makeup artist related content and vlogs like this. So if you guys are interested, definitely go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I need to um, prep my touch-up kits for later because I have to do two more touch-up kits, I think, um, for the gal that hired me for the Indian wedding. I still have to hear back from her and I'll, whenever she messages me or calls me or something, I'll have to run back over to her house and do touch-ups and everything. And then I also need a touch-up kit for her sister. So I'm probably going to be doing those now. Um, after I clean up and everything. <laughs> Guys, I bought like this six inch binder because I legit didn't think it existed. <laughs> And like, look at how huge this thing is. Like the D-rings are so huge on this thing. Like it's kind of obnoxious, honestly. But I was running out of room because I, I mean, not that I'm complaining, but I have so many bridal contracts and like things to keep track of that I just legit needed a bigger binder. And I was originally starting off with this guy, which I used the same size from last year. But of course I have so many more weddings than I did last year and so many more things to keep track of now that everything had to fit in a larger binder and I probably should have realistically just done like a four inch one or something but um I decided to go big or go home and so that's uh what ended up happening with this look at this thing this is like an embarrassing amount of binder right now
brush is clean now. Finished prepping my touch-up kits here. I know you guys didn't see this or anything. So again, this isn't for a bridal client. So I usually don't include like lash glue and everything if it's not a bridal client. And also the fact that I'm coming back and touching everything up makes a difference too. But I just put lip color, powder, and then a little sponge to touch up the powder. And then I do a few Q-tips and a couple lipstick applicators in here to touch up lips. And then I have my business card right behind it. So that's what I do as far as like normal applications and everything. I have my backpack packed right here. I just have like keys and wallet and everything. And then I put my brush belt back in here. And then I also have makeup remover wipes as well. So I usually go ahead and just stick these guys in here i'm just gonna be basically editing this vlog right now yeah i'll probably just be doing that until i get a phone call later okay guys i'm headed back home now i literally got a phone call from the main girl at like 4 30 and i was actually supposed to be there around 3 30 but they were running a little bit behind as i kind of suspected they would i got there around 4 50 because they had to shower and change clothes and everything and then i met them at 4 50 set up everything and then there was actually another makeup artist that was there that was doing the bride's hair and makeup. The other makeup artist was still actually working on the bride when I left and it's about 6 30 right now. I think they were all planning on leaving the house at 6 30 because they got to be somewhere else for the reception. So yeah I'm just glad that I wasn't the one that was holding up the wedding party. The main girl that I got hired by and her sister actually ended up completely showering and taking off their full face makeup so I just redid everything and then I gave them like separate touch-up kits again. So I got done in a really good time, which was good, and my back completely hurts because I was bending down so far. I think I made a mistake of like not asking to, you know, get like a taller chair, but it's fine. <laughs> Anyways, just heading home right now, and I think I'm probably gonna end off this vlog now because I really don't have anything else that's going on. I don't have any jobs tomorrow, so I'm just gonna probably end everything here. I hope you guys really enjoyed the vlog. I don't know how informative this one was, was, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it again don't forget to hit the like button if you guys did like the vlog i'm obviously in the garage now so i will go ahead and get going here as always i hope you guys are having an absolutely amazing day and i will talk to you guys in my next video all right bye